Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. A man found dead outside a local school as investigators try to figure out what happened. Saginaw Township Police say at about 830 this morning, a parent dropping off their child at Mackinac High School reported seeing a body on the property. Responding officers found the body of a 47 year old man. Investigators say surveillance video shows he got to the scene just after midnight and laid down near the bushes where he was found. Police say there's no sign of foul play and believe he most likely died in his sleep. Authorities say the man is known to police and is occasionally homeless. His cause of death is pending autopsy results. Stellantis says it laid off 525 workers in Michigan because of the UAW's decision to strike at its Sterling Heights assembly plant. According to the automaker, 400 employees at the Sterling stamping plant and 125 employees at the Warren stamping plant have temporarily been laid off. Yesterday, 6,800 UAW members walked off the job in Sterling Heights. Closures at Bay City State Park started today as crews work to improve the 100-year-old space. Renovation funded by the American Rescue Plan got underway, temporarily closing the east half of the day use parking lot, starting right after the permit booth to shelter four and five for tree removal. The campground is closed to all traffic until further notice. The playground will remain open during this time, but you may have to park in the west half and walk around the spray park to access the playground. Trails in Tobacco Marsh are also still open. Now here's Chris with your forecast. Meg, Temperatures are staying a little bit warmer tonight. We should be around the upper 50s and low 60s, but tomorrow the catches were not warming up all that much. We should see highs eventually land in the lower to middle 60s. A lot of rain headed our way for tomorrow, not necessarily heavy rain, but a healthy coverage of showers, especially early in the day. Your next seven days, we should stay on the mild side of average, but then we crash going into next week. Our temperatures around Halloween significantly cooler. We may even struggle to break into the 40s on Tuesday of next week. Your first alert, Pinpoint Doppler Radar, live from MBS, is drying out tonight after some showers passed through at least some communities earlier today. That frontal boundary off to our west will take some time to pass through, and in the meantime, it will likely send multiple waves of rain our way through the rest of this work week. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows as we head through tonight, we'll likely see our next round arrive tomorrow morning. Some of us will see showers for the morning commute. Those showers will weaken a little bit and break up a bit as they move off to the east, so not quite as strong as the west side of the state, but they will still be around, so plan for some rain tomorrow morning. We will dry out during the afternoon and evening. Unfortunately, tomorrow the clouds will stick around. We get a break Wednesday evening. The next round comes in Thursday morning. That round moves through Thursday morning, and we get a break Thursday evening, so there is a bit of a pattern there. Heaviest rainfall totals will be to the north and west of us over the next couple of days. Your seven-day forecast Shows that cooler stretch by early next week. We're in the low 40s by Tuesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.